Merry Christmas! My name's Hayley and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make my Christmas wreath. I'm cheating slightly because I've already bought one. Here it is. This is just a plain holly wreath. It's the plainest one I could find. It's just on like a moss ring here. So what I'm going to do is just tart it up a bit, make it a little bit more individual. Now I've just gathered a load of things together. Now, first of all, it was my birthday a few weeks ago and I got given a lovely bunch of flowers with all these really weird and wonderful flowers. So there's some thistles, uh, there's a little bit of bamboo here, there's these fluffy I don't really know what these are, I'll just show you. They're just like fluffy, furry things on the end of a stick, but they're absolutely beautiful. Um, I've also just raided my craft cupboard. Got some Montana spray paints in gold and silver. Some acrylic. A few different glitters. Some lace, ribbon, um, what else have I got here? Oh, um, and some of my silver, silver leather that I bought a little while ago to make these cushions. So I'm going to try and put that in somehow, but we'll see. Now, I don't really have much of a plan, I'm just going to go with it and see how it goes, really. First things first. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of colour. Oh, that's the other thing. That holly is really, really spiky, so I've got my gloves out. I, I thought I'd go with leather gloves because I thought they'd be a bit more hardy. Um, add a little bit of spray paint. This is Montana spray paint. It's very, very good. Um, just give it a good shake. And I'm just going to give it a gentle... I don't want everything silver. I just want to get a few little little frostings in there. The important thing to remember when you're using spray paint is to either do it outside, which is definitely preferable, or make sure you're in really ventilated areas. So keep the windows open and just make sure that you're not breathing in all the fumes. So this is the frosty wreath with the silver on. You see, you can still see all the green. It's just got a little bit more of an icy feel to it now. So I'm really excited about using these flowers. These ones especially, look how amazing they are, all fuffy. Um, and the thistles. In the meadow we can build a old man. We'll pretend that he is passing brown. He'll say I already will say no man. But you can do the job when you're in town. So what I've done is cut all of the bits and pieces from the vase into little sections. So we've got those lovely fluffy ones. And the thistles. And I'm just going to start basically prodding them in and just going by eye and see why I think things fit. So I've stuck in all the bits and pieces from my vase that I'm going to use. So we've got the thistles and the white fluffy things. So we're kind of avoiding all the bright colours. I've taken out the fake holly that was um, the holly berries that were in there. Now what I've started to do is make these florets. If I just show you how I've done this, this is the leather. I've been making two at a time. So I'm using uh, material scissors, so nice and sharp shears, and just cut out a um, shape of a leaf, like so. Okay, it doesn't need to be massively neat. There they are. And then I've got these really cool scissors. These are five 
sheer scissors and they're really good for paper but on certain materials they will actually cut your material into a nice little fringe so if I just cut along there and I've got to go right down because this is where the sharp bit is right down here go right in there and just cut along like that so just done that down one end and there you get a nice little fringe and then I'm going to take my lace and ribbon and I'm just going to paste, place the lace behind the leather and the ribbon in front of the leather like so where's my wire gone? get my wire and then just literally just bunch it all together wrap that round Not those scissors snip off the end leave your tail and there you have this nice little material floret which is going to sit inside the reef got me gloves on because it's so, so spiky um, there's my floret now I'm just going to pick a position to put it in this will probably be the last one so I'm just going to hold the base of the material where I've attached it all I'm taking the wire through to the middle I'm reaching through and grabbing it it's really hard to feel with these gloves as well if you've got it and I'm just wrapping it round and just tucking it in so here it is so far I'm really pleased with it. I really like the mix between the um, organic material and the more manufactured industrial uh, material. So the leather and the lace and the ribbon mixed in with the, the plants in there. And I really like the colours as well. The colours are um, really frosty and Christmassy, I, I think. So I'm going to add a little bit of glitter because I can't resist glitter. I've got um, silver glitter glue and I am not going to um, do anything very specific. I'm just going to kind of go all over it. So here we go. I kind of just enjoying this messy, <laughs> messy method. Okay, so there's probably enough on there now. It's not going to be very clear for you to see. You can see that I put a bit of glitter on there. Then I've got this pink glitter, and this is just like a baby pink, um, which I think is going to go really nicely with the um, the purple from the thistles. I'm take my gloves off for this because there is. No if you can do the this. job when you're in town. As we dream by the fire. Okay, back on that. That's gonna take too long. Walking in the winter wonderland. Okay, and there I've got this really bright icy blue, which I'm going to do the same with. I love blue at Christmas. It's, it is definitely an icy, like frozen colour. I just think it looks really lovely. And really set this, set this off. Oh, that looks lovely. My daughter was doing this. This they have been on this. It would be all in the carpet. So I'm trying to be a little bit more controlling of the glitter. Oh, this looks magical. Went a little bit over the top there, but let's have a little look. So, here we go. You can see there that that lovely blue, pinky, purple is really coming through now. I bought some bells the other day from a garden centre, just like a garland of bells, because I really like the way they sound. I think they sound really Christmassy. And I hung them on my um, knocker on my door because I thought, oh, it'd be really Christmassy when people come and knock on the door and they have like 
a jingle bell ring instead of like a knock 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 he'd be like oh Merry Christmas so the other day I was in the house and I got this massive knock at the door um, and the jingle bells rang and I opened the door and it was a policeman and they had the wrong house they, I wasn't going to be arrested but um, then they walked off and they turned around and they said oh by the way we've broken your bells so my garland is now in two pieces so I'm going to stick some bells in as well I think that's going to look lovely the, uh, the colours are going to be beautiful together and here it is, bells and all. It's all finished. I'm really, really just so chuffed with it. I'm really pleased that my birthday flowers get to live on another month on the front door. Um, I think you should just give it a try. Buy yourself a really cheap wreath to see what you've got lying around the house and then just get creative and see what you can do. Thanks for watching. Walking in the winter wonderland